Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandra. In this video, we are going to discuss about piping branches and this is going to be part 2. In my previous video, we have uh, in part 1, we have discussed about various types of fittings used in piping system. But in this video, we are especially going to focus on piping branches because there are certain facts and basis in using the branches. So we are going to discuss those things in very detailed way. So let's get into the topic. So before going into the subject, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please give me a subscription because so that you will be able to get my videos, you will be able to get a notification of my every video. It will be helpful for you to upgrade your piping knowledge. So let's get into the topic. In today's video, we are going to address three important areas of piping branches. One of the first one is that what is the different types of branch fittings available? And second important area is what is the need of a different types? See when we have a different types of fittings and we should understand the purpose of each fitting type. So otherwise you may not be using the right one at the appropriate location. And the third important area is that how to select the branch fitting for a particular location. When you are actually doing your design actually you must know how to select a particular type of branch fitting for a certain size and branch size. So it's really important to understand these three important part of important areas in piping projects so that you will be able to efficiently do your piping design. Now let's see what are the different types of branch fittings available. The first type is equal T. Equal T is a type of fittings used when the branch size is equal to the header size. Let's say for an example you wanted to take 10 inch branch size from the 10 inch header you will be using equal T. And the second type is reduced D. Reduced D from the name itself it's very clear that it is used for reduction in size. If your branch size is lesser than your header size you must be using reduced D. And the third one is the weld outlet. Weld outlet is also a type of fitting that is used for branch connections and it is joined with piping by means of butt weld joints. And the fourth type is sock outlet. Sock outlet is also an another type of branch fittings that is used for taking branches from piping and it is joined with piping by means of socket weld joints. And the fifth one is a thread outlet. Thread outlet is also a type of another type of fittings that is used for taking branch connections but it is joined with piping by means of threaded joints. And the another type is an elbow lid. Elbow lid is a special type of branch fittings which is only used for taking branches from the elbows. The seventh type is lateral lid. Lateral lid is also an another type of fitting that is used for taking branch connection. But the major difference between other fittings and lateral lid is in lateral lid the branch connections are taken with certain inclination but in other fittings it is taken perpendicular to the axis of the header. So that's the major difference between lateral lid and other fittings. And the eighth type is half coupling. Half coupling is also an another type of fitting used for taking branch connection which is almost equivalent to socolet because half coupling connects with piping by means of socket weld joints. You will be able to see a small socket over here. This is the step is known as a socket. Even in the socolet you can find the step and this is known as a socket. This provides the provision to do a socket weld joints basically. So that's why half coupling is almost similar to socolet. The last one we have over here is the sweep outlet. Sweep outlet is also a type of fitting that comes with the RF pad. RF pad means reinforcement pad. These types of fittings are generally used wherever the header pipe thickness is lesser or the pipe stress is more at the branch point. So basically in order to protect the walls of the piping these types are used. So these are the different types of branch fittings available in piping. Now let us see few more types based on fabrication. One of the first type based on fabrication we have over here is the stub in type. Stub in means that pushing the branch pipe inside the header pipe which means the branch pipe will enter into the wall of the header pipe. You can see from the picture over here the branch pipe is entered up to the ID of the header pipe and the green part shown over here is the weldment. So this is where the welding will takes place. So this is known as stub in. And the other type we have over here is the stub on. Stub on is exactly opposite to the stub in. In stub in the pipe goes inside the wall of the header pipe but in stub on it remains outside. This is how it looks and the welding will be done at the outside periphery of the pipe. So this is how it shows actually. The green part shown over here is the welding part. It's a weldment. It's known as a weldment. And the last type we have over here is the branch with the reinforcement pad. Branch with reinforcement pad is nothing but taking a simple branch by using an additional reinforcement pad. Reinforcement pads are always used only wherever the thickness of the header pipe is lesser or the stress may be higher at the point of taking a branch connection. So in order to minimize the stress and also to protect the wall of the header pipe, we will be using the RF pad. 
These are the three types of branch connections based on fabrications. So far we have seen different types of branch fittings. Now it's time to understand what is the need of different types. We have equal T reduced T and weld outlet types. We know equal T is used for equal size branches and reduced T is used for taking reduced size branches. But what about weld outlet? Weld outlet is also used for taking reduced size branches. Then why we need reduced T and weld outlet? Because we do not have an availability of reduced T. Say for an example, for taking a branch connections and for lesser sizes, reduced T may not be available. That is the only reason why weld outlets are used. I will show you exactly in the standard from the manufacturing table. This is a table that I have taken from an American standard B16.9. From this table, we can identify the availability of reduced T. And for sizes where reduced T is not available, then we will be using weld outlet or other types of wallet. Now let us see one particular size. Let's take the 16 inch header size. For 16 inch header size, the maximum reduction we can do is only up to 6 inch. So this means the branch size actually. We can't go further for the 16 inch size. So imagine a case where you have to take a 2 inch connection from the 16 inch header. In that case, we have to use weld roller. That is the only reason why we are using different types of wallets because for many sizes reduced T's are not available. Let's look at the 18 inch also. For 18 inch the maximum reduction you can make is only up to 8 inch. Say for an example if you want to take 4 inch connection from 18 inch pipe you do not have reduced T you have to go for weld outlet only. This is the fundamental reason why we are using weld outlet for taking branch connections. Now, let us understand the need of weld outlet, sock outlet, thread outlet and half coupling as all of these wallets are used for taking branch connections. Now I would like to request you about one of my previous videos about pipe material specification which is also known as piping class. For those who have not watched this video, I kindly request you to go and watch it so that you will be able to understand what I am talking about. Pipe material specification is a document that is designed to suit for certain fluid services based on certain parameters such as design temperature and design pressure and corrosive nature of the fluid based on which the material engineer assign wallets for different sizes. Generally, weld wallets are assigned for sizes 2 inch and above and sock wallets are assigned for sizes less than 2 inch and for thread wallets are assigned for only for vents or drains or for low pressure services and half coupling will be used as an alternative for sock wallet only based on cost. So from this it is very evident that wallets are actually assigned based on sizes and design condition of the fluid and also based on cost. So that's it about the need of different types. So we, I think we have covered almost all the type except elbow let and lateral let. See elbow let is only used where when you are taking a branch connection from the elbow and lateral let as I told you it is used only for taking inclined branches actually. So this is the need of a different types of fittings. Now let's see how to select a branch fittings in piping design. For that you must know something about branch table from piping class. Branch table looks like this. In this, the horizontal table, the horizontal bar indicates the branch sizes and the vertical bar indicates the header sizes. Say for an example, you wanted to take 2 inch branch from 10 inch header. What type of fitting you should use? W. So what is W? For that, you should refer the legend. Legend will clearly tell you the terminology of the alphabet. S stands for socolet, W stands for weldolet, RT stands for reduced T and ET stands for equal T. So what type of fitting we should use? Weld outlet. Let's look at another example. Say for an example you wanted to take 6 inch branch from 8 inch header. So what do you have to use? RT. It's a reduced T. What about for equal sizes for 6 inch branch from the 6 inch header? You have to use ET which means equal T. So this is how you have to select the branch fitting for a particular branch size and the header size. For that you have to refer branch table. So I believe this video has helped you to understand the different types of branch fittings and the need of different types and how to select the branch fittings for your piping design. So thanks for watching my video and thank you for your support. Give me a like. More the likes indicates that you are interested in these types of topics so I'll be able to make more such videos. And also don't forget to share with your friends. And one more important thing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that gives me more motivation to do more and more videos. I'll meet you in another fantastic video. Until then bye from Subhash Chandra.